Chair, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm excited to participate in this uh, conference, Industrial Development and Policy in Africa. And mine is basically to share um, some experiences in Kenyan context uh, and uh, what we, we are reviewing is basically um, uh, what has been happening uh, in Kenya, uh, given that, um, uh, as we know it, the level of industrialization in Kenya is uh, not a desirable state, uh, yet uh, from what we are learning from the conference, uh, basically uh, industrialization matters uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the country's growth. Uh, uh, basically, um, uh, um, myself and uh, uh, Peter and Diana, oh, thank you, I can be heard now? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. um, uh, Peter and Diana constitute part of the learning to compete uh, uh, Kenyan team, and basically uh, what I'm presenting, uh, I'll be presenting on behalf of myself and uh, my other two colleagues. Um, like I've said, um, why we should be concerned with industrialization is uh, the experiences all over the world is basically that um, uh, for a country to grow, uh, um, uh, uh, it has uh, basically to give premium uh, to the, lev I mean, to the uh, industrialization uh, process. Now, one may ask, uh, uh, since independence, hasn't there been any interventions uh, uh, basically to promote uh, uh, industry in the country? Uh, and basically for us to know where, uh, 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 what has been happening, uh, we need to look at the uh, policies, uh, uh, basically that um, uh, uh, were made over time. We need basically to unpack the, the industry in terms of uh, our structure and obviously the, the, the productivity issues. So in terms of outline, uh, uh, basically we want to look at the evolution of the industry itself and the policies uh, thereof. Uh, so much so that we can be able to examine the success, successfulness of these interventions. Uh, again, uh, when we are looking at the, the structure, uh, uh, the key indicators basically is in terms of the sector composition, uh, 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 manufacturing, employment, and the size factor. Again, we want to reflect on the uh, productivity because just like uh, what Ben said uh, in the morning, uh, basically we need to reflect on the industrial productivity and out of that, we can be able to, again, uh, appreciate the emerging issues uh, 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 from what we are going to learn. Now, in Kenyan con context, uh, when we are talking of the industry, well, in general, industry will not just constitute about manufacturing. There's the element of mining and quarrying. There's building and construction and access and water. Uh, but uh, uh, when we talk about industry in Kenya, uh, the emphasis basically is on manufacturing because of the, 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 the relative uh, contribution uh, to GDP. Uh, you find that um, except for manufacturing uh, and the contribution of other constituents of industry uh, uh, is small. Uh, but basically this is changing uh, because uh, for those who have been uh, following Kenyan uh, uh, development, uh, we have a lot of discovery in the recent years. Uh, last year uh, we discovered um, oil in our northern province. Uh, we also have a lot of um, natural gas in off offshore region. Uh, from allowed 2005, again, uh, we had, uh, we did discover uh, quite a substantial amount of titanium uh, in the coast province and also uh, coal uh, uh, in the eastern region. Uh, but the extent to which we have uh, uh, basically uh, um, uh, exploited titanium and coal uh, has been compromised by the appropriation issues between the local communities and basically the investors that have had some interest in those areas. So basically we are still in the infancy stage in terms of uh, uh, basically uh, uh, um, uh, uh, usage of these uh, 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 natural resources. So we are saying that uh, at this point in time, even if uh, manufacturing is basically the major player, uh, things may change uh, 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 in the short run, uh, depending to uh, how fast we are able to use uh, the new discoveries. Um, but not talking about uh, uh, manufacturing, uh, before independence there was also much of uh, uh, manufacturing uh, one could talk of, because we all know that uh, the colonial, uh, uh, during the colonial time, uh, basically uh, most of the third world countries, including Kenya, they were just being used as uh, sources of raw materials. But immediately after 
uh, independence, uh, the new government was under pressure basically uh, to be able to, to establish uh, a, a, a strong industry. And there were immediate uh, measures. One was obviously to attract the, uh, basically the, 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 uh, the, uh, the foreign direct investment and also to create capacity within. Uh, so new, uh, uh, basically appropriate regulations were put in place and we can be able to appreciate uh, immediately what followed uh, because of the, uh, 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 the country being a, a good source of uh, cotton, obviously the natural way of, uh, uh, of industrialization was to come up with sector industries, uh, basically by, uh, 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 for, through uh, foreign direct investment and uh, histories of 60s and 70s, we had uh, uh, quite a number of strong farms, basically maybe would have been a household names in quite a number of countries. Uh, later on, uh, uh, again, um, through foreign direct investment and joint ventures, uh, again, through agro-processing, there are a number of companies that came up. Now, beyond those two that uh, basically were, uh, that are agro-based, uh, we had uh, quite a number of uh, uh, metal industry coming up uh, basically out of the Asian, um, Kenyans of Asian origin who are working uh, on the railway uh, and basically those who migrated to Kenya in the early years of independence, uh, basically they invested in, um, uh, in steel industry. Uh, and again, also there was a lot of uh, joy, uh, 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 joint fellowship and also foreign direct investment in cement uh, industry. Now, we may ask ourselves what the status of these uh, 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 industries and how do they relate also with the, the, the policy uh, regimes that uh, uh, identify the evolution of uh, 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 industri industrial policies. Now, looking at the industrial processes uh, for the last 50 years, we can group them into two. In the early years, we had uh, the import substitution from 60s to 70s, uh, and, and, and uh, 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 basically after that, we had uh, 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 market liberalization, and let alone uh, export-driven uh, uh, policies. Uh, just a, a short uh, appreciation of uh, uh, import substitution. Um, uh, basically, uh, if one was to, 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 to reflect on its successfulness, uh, we can identify that uh, this period, the first two decades, uh, the country experienced a high industrial growth, and quite a number of industries we see today, uh, they have their foundation uh, uh, that were basically as a, little, as a result of uh, import substitution strategy. But the negative side of import substitution strategy uh, 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 basically was the fact that uh, it created an export bias. And obviously, because of the, the, the limited um, uh, local demand, the, the, uh, 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 the, 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 it, it developed low momentum uh, over time. So uh, one of the uh, issues that one can ask is that, um, is this basically what the, the, the Asian countries or the newly developed countries started with? And, 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 and as, uh, just a, a simple analysis will say yes, but the issue was uh, at what point uh, uh, basically they make the Sorry. right? Um. Oh, five minutes. That is intervention in terms of uh, 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 going to export driven uh, growth. Uh, market liberalization of 1980s uh, uh, basically was both internal and external driven uh, in terms of structural adjustment programs. Um, uh, and at the end of it, there wasn't much to drive home because um, uh, what happened is that uh, lo our local industries were not strong enough to, 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 to be able to, uh, to survive in a liberalized market. And also, we, uh, locally, the, the government was not, uh, ex, ex, I mean, it, it, it didn't move with the kind of uh, uh, um, uh, 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 momentum that it was supposed to, to do in terms of encouraging uh, uh, industrialization. Now, um, again, uh, just because of the time, um, export driven policies from 1990s uh, and basically up to, uh, up to the year 2000, again, there's, in terms of uh, what the government did, the, the, it, it, was, it was able to, uh, to promote uh, export through a lot of uh, platforms. Uh, you must have heard of Export Pro Promotion Council, Compensation Scheme, and Manufacturing Above Board. Uh, basically, try to compensate exporters uh, in terms of the taxes that uh, they pay once they export, and trying to, uh, to, to remove the, the, I mean, to compensate for those uh, 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 um, uh, taxes so as to, to basically promote ex uh, uh, export. Now, from 2000 uh, um, uh, up to today, uh, this is what I would also compare with what we are talking of, uh, that in the recent times, uh, basically, um, uh, Kenya and other countries have 
more or less have a revitalization of uh, industry because we see a lot of changes. Uh, from 2000 with the new government, we had uh, economic capital strategy paper and whose emphasis was on uh, macro and business environment. Again, after the end of that uh, period, because it was meant for 2003 to 2007, uh, basically we had the cash and fish in 2030. Now, uh, in terms of <coughs> what matters for, 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 for a country to, to develop, it is <coughs> basically in terms of, sorry, <coughs> uh, how serious the government is in terms of working uh, or implement implementing the policies that it has come up with. So the period 2002, 2003 to 2007 uh, was basically uh, uh, um, uh, characterized by a lot of growth in, in, in basically in terms of infrastructure, uh, in terms of uh, 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 power, uh, electricity, and so forth. Now, beyond that, uh, we have the uh, the Fission 2030, uh, which we are trying to implement, but we have come up with two other papers to be able to uh, to implement that. The session of paper number nine, uh, of 2012 uh, National Industrial uh, um, uh, uh, Policy Paper. Now, um, what I've just been uh, uh, discussing, basically, and obviously some of us may have, I mean, we may have read the paper, we can summarize it in that in terms of the successfulness of those interventions. Again, because of time, uh, I will not uh, go, go, go uh, into that. Um, but if we look at all over the period, particularly 2007, because of lack of structural transformation, you find that the contribution of GDP basically has remained the same. In terms of manufacturer growth, uh, basically you see some lot, sort of correlation because of the, the agro-based nature of our industry with the industrial growth. Uh, uh, that's uh, basically what um, we are running from that diagram. In terms of structure, again, um, I'm conscious of the time. Uh, we can reflect on what are the important sectors. Obviously, food processing dominates. Uh, the others are beef ledges uh, and tobacco. And obviously, because of this uh, construction industry and metallic uh, mineral product, uh, basically uh, contributes, contribute a lot. Now, when we reflect on the employment, the sectors to appreciate uh, basically the, obviously, uh, food manufacturing is important, uh, but we also have uh, textile and metal, metal products. Uh, you find some sort of um, uh, divergence in terms of contribution to uh, GDP and also employment creation. Basically, in terms of growth, the sectors to emphasize are not necessarily the same sectors you have to emphasize if you are to consider uh, prom uh, or creating more employment. Uh, you find that uh, where layers and metallic and religious uh, tobacco basically contribute a lot when it comes to employment, uh, uh, basically they are not the, the industries to reflect on. Looking at uh, our manufacturing, um, uh, for the sake of comparative study uh, 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 that we were to undertake with other partners in learning to compete, we have expressed that one in dollars. Uh, and what we want to appreciate uh, is in minute, terms of, yeah, in terms of exports. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, and those are our major uh, exports. Um, for the size factor in an industrial establishment, uh, basically we, we want to appreciate that size matter in labor uh, productivity because you find that it is higher, uh, um, uh, basically for large industries uh, and smaller and smaller industries. Um, and again, when it comes to, uh, to the number of establishments, you, you, you realize that um, the number of is industrial establishments that are formed are basically about the same. But if one was to analyze the, 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 the number of establishment um, within the, 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 the broader picture, 70% uh, of uh, our farms are smaller farms. So meaning that quite a number of our farms, smaller farms are not registered. And that explains uh, why, what, what has been happening. Um, in terms of total productivity, again, for comparative analysis, uh, we have expressed this um, in USA dollars up to the 19,000, I mean, uh, 2008, obviously there is 2009 and 2010, uh, but we have not been able at this point to reflect the figures because of our change in computing uh, consumer price index. Uh, but, but obviously this can be compared uh, from other studies, what is happening in terms of um, what, are, what are the industries that reflect high productivity. Uh, food um, uh, obviously comes um, uh, uh, first um, uh, uh, and, and followed by uh, um, uh, uh, um, textile and apple and leather industries, but for those basically where a number, um, where basically uh, the contributors are small scale or smaller farms, obviously the productivity is low. Um, 
again, uh, in terms of using uh, 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 any other, I mean, some other data, particularly the World Bank uh, 2007, uh, again, uh, what we have put there is simply the methodology we used to uh, compute so, that. Sorry, Jacob, I'll have to stop you there. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you.